Hi, how's it going? In this video, we are going to install WebGPU and check that it's working. Here we have, not here, the code from the last video. We'll just open this up and pretty much delete all of it. So we'll just go to the source folder and here we have hex verter and we'll just delete that. That's all gone. I'm going to make a main file there and we'll get to that in a second. On the index page, we will just get rid of all of this. Maybe we'll keep the container, why not? And oh yeah, main.js, that's fine. And it's in the webpack config. We're just gonna look inside that source folder. Okay, awesome. So let's go ahead and install WebGPU. Now, um, there's a number of things that we need. The first of which is if we go over to, where are we? Here we go. Go over to this um, config place. We have types, and I added this before. Uh, we're gonna include the Node.js types. So what a type file is, basically, is it's a TypeScript file, which, um, oh, we can't really see it here, but it defines the mapping between a TypeScript, like custom defined type, and the underlying JavaScript type. So what we can do is we can just, where are we, open up command prompt, and we will say npm install, and then it's at types slash node. Yeah, so as we can see, we've got an error at the moment. It's saying that it can't find the entry point for node, can't find a definition file, that is. Um, it will get that in a second once this installs. Okay, very cool, very cool. So we'll just save this and fingers crossed, yes, the error goes away. If we pop into node modules, we have this at types and then node, and we have these files which define for these kind of custom TypeScript types, what are the underlying JavaScript types. Okay, we'll get rid of that for now. And then we'll also need, we'll also need the um, web GPU types. So I'll just pop this over. This one is a little more, <laughs> it doesn't have 68 million downloads per week. Let me just say that. Okay, so this defines the um, TypeScript types for web GPU. So if we say like, you know, GPU device or whatever, GPU adapter, um, GPU extent and all of that, um, what does that actually mean? So what we need to do is we need to go to type roots and register these folders. Cool, so there we have those. And then of course, I'm just waiting for an error. No, no error. Okay, so this is, this is searching for a folder, so it won't throw an error if the folder isn't there, but we do need to install these things. So we'll just fire up command prompt again, and then we will say, um, npm install at web GPU types. Now I might be asking, hey, why do we have types node and then web GPU types? And it really, it, it comes down to the package authors. They used different conventions. So it is interesting just to see if we pop into node modules and we go to uh, web GPU, and this is web GPU types and check out the, the code there. This is actually a definition of the TypeScript types for web GPU. So 
for instance, if we have a, you see here, we have a GPU binding resource defined in TypeScript. This could be, it's a, a superclass, which could be describing any of these sort of objects. And then these objects, if we go to a buffer binding, have their own things. So this buffer binding is, is written as a dictionary, JavaScript object notation. It has these um, buffers and, and all of these. As another example, if we go right up the top, we have um, GPU texture sample type, and then these are all the possible options that we could have for one of these data types. So if you're a little unsure on um, certain options for a type, you can always pop into the um, web GPU types file and have a look through there and yeah, because um, I don't know, I'll get, I'll get to this in a second, but if we look over at the web GPU documentation, I mean, we can read it. I find it a little confusing sometimes. For instance, what do we have here? GPU, okay, uh, yeah, down here. Let promise be a new promise. What? Return promise. I don't know. Anyway, I'm just, I'm joking around. Um, but yeah, so we can look through that, that types file and that is useful, but I'm going off track. So let's go back to the main thing. Um, what I want to do here is I just want to check whether um, web GPU is supported. So I'll make an empty element and I'll populate that element. Um, so I'll set the ID to compatibility check. Okay, cool. So then we'll pop over to the main and we will grab that element. Okay, so now I want to check if the um, if WebGPU is supported. Now if I pop over to the initialization. The first chapter of initialization is this navigator.gpu. GPU object is available on the window and is exposed via navigator.gpu. So what we can do is we can say, once this is all initialized and loaded and everything, if WebGPU is available, it should be registered with the DOM with everything. So I'll say if navigator dot GPU. And if we've got that present, then it will have a proper value, a true like value. Otherwise it will have a false like value. Okay. So we pop over here in navigator and it says it navigator doesn't have a GPU. Well, that seems a little strange. So if we click into Navigator, we see that Navigator is defined inside the DOM library, document object model. So it kind of makes sense that it doesn't have a GPU property by default. That's a web GPU thing. But then we did install web GPU, right? We downloaded it and everything. And if we look back at the documentation, the first chapter, it's just where is it? It's just a property. We don't have to call any function to get it. So this indicates that maybe something little funky is going on. Now, if we go back to that TypeScript config, we've set this as a folder to look in, <clears throat> but we also need to include that stuff. So we'll go um, include our types at web GPU types and save that. And now that error goes away. See, so that's how we fix that. So what we do is we set the inner text to um, some sort of message. It really doesn't matter what it is, but it does need to be <laughs> accurate. So we can't 
you know what I mean. Anyway. Okay, great. So that looks fine. Let's go ahead and build that. Yep, great. So we've got that um, all set up and then we'll just open this up. Now, if we open this in Chrome, it says it can't support WebGPU. Because remember, WebGPU is, it's not even the working, the documentation is just a working draft. It's not even like supported yet. But we can get it if we download Google Canary. Okay, so just, I've download, downloaded this ahead of time. It's a very simple install. We'll just um, open with Google, Google Chrome Canary. And we need to set a flag. So if we go over and we say, it's this section here about flags, then this is a bunch of experimental flags that we can enable or disable. So we'll just search for, whoops, unsafe web GPU, enable that, relaunch the page. And now we can support web GPU. Okay, cool. So this is just a little quickie on how to um, install WebGPU and check if our browser supports it. Hope you enjoy that and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.